Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Life of Wonders, welcome back to my channel. As you know, my name is Polo and I love making videos of dolls, toys and Disney collectibles. And as always, if you like this kind of content and you feel like supporting the channel, don't forget to subscribe to it and that way you will not be missing out on any of my future videos. Now today, we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Inspired by Pocahontas Fashion Pack as part of the ILY uh, doll line. I'm just so into it. I love every single piece I've uh, opened so far and I don't uh, expect uh, any less than that uh, from this one here. I'm very, very excited. So this is again inspired by Pocahontas. Um, it's going to, well, I will try it on a uh, an original ILY doll as well as a classic Pocahontas doll so you can see how it looks for both dolls the packaging is very cool very fresh very clean we have the artwork of Pocahontas the logo of ILY um, then we have some more um, artwork for Pocahontas here as well as um, the picture of the I think this is the Belle inspired doll uh, but she's actually going on a hike and that is super cute anyway I will take everything out of the box and I'll come back to you in no time so here we have everything out of the box and this fashion pack I truly truly love there are a few pieces that are amazing well first of all that the the main piece that we find here is this flannel um jacket or t-shirt actually and i love that it's i mean this one is truly really nicely made it has the disney tag and i actually um researched <laughs> a little bit and i realized that those are actual pockets so you can I mean, if you just use something uh, super tiny, you can definitely see that they're not just um, sewn onto it, but uh, they're actual uh, pockets that can be, I don't know, used or not, but they're uh, real. So that's um, an added uh, bonus. And then another thing that I very much like is that even though this is like an old time um you know uh favorite uh flannel shirt they've added these studs uh on both shoulders to add that little um component of uh, a modern touch which is so cool and i love the uh sandy colors and the woods colors that we can find it's very pretty actually and then the color is round here um the way the cuffs are uh made it's really really nice so this is the first piece that we find the um compass in the shape of a necklace this time it appears to be compass um also, that's super cool. This one, though, I love this piece. It's a uh, top, um, like a tank top, and it has an ombre effect of orange to white or white to orange. And then we have this beautiful illustration of, uh, well, it says Camp Miko, and it's just so adorable. And I also love that they've actually done the uh, little knot um, in one of the sides. Uh, as opposed to the middle so that's that's very original it's very interesting really um so yeah i love that piece then we we have this um cup that is not a, adjustable as such although it's really nicely sculpted and textured and it has the leaves in different colors like the colors of the wind and i think it's a nice touch anyway to have a baseball cup um as an accessory another accessory is this little booklet uh that says bird watching guide and then we have flicked here and uh, obviously we can't read anything but it's for um it's meant to be like a prop and i think it's super cute then we um got these binoculars as well which are 
quite heavy and uh, nicely sculpted and uh, obviously you cannot see through them that would be just so awesome and they're very nicely painted and then um, they have like this suede material uh, strap for you to hold them uh the doll or place it around the neck or something like that and then we have these shorts that to me are very like 90s style um 90s style in a way because um i think there is a plastic tie still there anyway <laughs> um the um, th they're very like white um so they're not as um super um um tight and that is something that reminds me so much of the 90s um it has um it doesn't have velcro i think it's just like an elastic and then it has a little cord applied there and the pattern at the bottom and the material is like this one used for like uh swimming trunks it's very very similar um and then we have these boots which are just so amazing so they're basically like real like i mean real they're supposed to be like boots something that you would take on a hike and and then they have um painted details um around the sole that is really nicely sculpted as well and then these straps that go all the all the way around and then it has like these really nice uh pattern of a fringe uh which is so cool so anyway i will be trying this on our both um protagonists here and i wanted to show you for once both dolls side by side like a classic doll this is a is this yeah i think this is a bit of an older uh classic one but i love this one so much i love how long haha -ha is and everything and side to side you can definitely appreciate some more um well the differences in the body so as you can see uh the disney princess is thinner um all the way around so in in all the places and um and that's basically it but then the fashions fit so well you'll see um anyway i will try it on her first and then i will leave it on pocahontas so let's see how um it turns out well and here we can have our doll dressed with this outfit the only piece i didn't use was the flannel shirt because i didn't want uh it to be completely saturated and i also wanted to um um to show and for you to appreciate how the inner top or the top on its own look which i think is um magnificent like i think it's my favorite piece here um in general um so i will be trying the shirt on pocahontas but as for now you can see the rest of the pieces on this ioi uh forever doll everything fits so well um even the baseball cap um it's just so cute there the compass as a necklace again this doll piece wow um the shorts are pretty cool um she can hold the guy she can hold the binoculars and the boots are just so fantastic so once again super impressed um very very nicely impressed um by this fashion pack and now we're going to try it on pocahontas Wow, and here we have the final results on Pocahontas, and I have to say, once again, I absolutely love it. I think that the fit is just perfect for, for her as well, and as you can see, everything is quite tight, like, um the shorts are tight um the top is very tight as well the fit for the shirt is just like on point and she looks so amazing like even the shoes although the shoes might be a bit uh big and they might look but not quite really as you know my scene <laughs> uh shoes um they're not really that big um so in general you kind of get like i mean their boots it's just that she's very thin um 
but everything just goes incredibly well and it could well be just you know pocahontas in a contemporary world out of context uh and just going for a hike <laughs> uh with modern uh gear um so i just love it uh, the only thing i didn't use this time is the cap for her because she really has to have her hair all flowy and free <laughs> But everything else is so cute. She can also hold the guide and the binoculars. And it's just a very nice fashion pack um, that's bound uh, to Disney and is specifically to this princess. And I'm just so in love. So, um, yeah. Uh, well, anyway, I very much hope you've enjoyed uh, this review. And if you have, uh, please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. As always, I will be more than happy to get back to all of you. And um, for now, stay safe and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye bye.